Well, since it hasn't started, I'm going to cheat. You can press. Okay, I'm going to explain this in a moment. Just starting by saying, uh, despite my best efforts to the contrary, I've become an old fart. This is my 40th year as a faculty member. Um, the direction that I started in is very different from the direction I'm going now. And the transition really happened in the 1980s when I started working in the Sierra Nevada, left-hand part of the slide, with Alan Glazner. Many of you uh, heard give a couple of talks here last year. Andrew Coleman on the, uh, the one of the longest standing problems in geology, and it goes back to the 18th century, and James Hutton, how granite bodies get into the crust. Uh, and so against my better judgment, I took on that uh, issue. Pretty quickly, we came to the conclusion that the reason why this problem had been so difficult to solve is a bad assumption. And the assumption is that a mapped pluton, say, the Cathedral Creek ground diorite right here in Yosemite, represents a body of magma, uh, as opposed to representing what a sedimentary formation is, that is, an accumulation over millions of years of rock that all looks similar. And so uh, a number of lines of evidence that we developed uh, late 1990s, early 2000s led us to conclude that uh, the norm was, in fact, this latter idea. Uh, it was a very unpopular suggestion to a lot of colleagues because it invalidated many, many years of research, um, which were fundamentally based on the idea that this is a magma body. Uh, so, Early on in that, I got interested then in how what we were learning in the Sierra Nevada, which we continue to pursue, would apply in our backyard here to the Wasatch Igneous Belt. Uh, campus is up here, Salt Lake Valley, Wasatch Mountains. The pink here is the Wasatch Igneous Belt. And uh, after a gestation period of about 15 years, uh, this year John Bowman, my former student, Mike Stearns, and I uh, were awarded NSF funding to pursue this. So what I want to talk for a moment about is how these two things relate to each other. So uh, this business of long-lived incremental growth of plutons really for us originated in studies in the Sierra Nevada. The problem is that this is a plan view, that is this is a, its original orientation, it's been eroded down to that level. We have very little direct information about what was on top of that. Okay. There are many opinions but very little evidence. Uh, the nice thing about the Wasatch Igneous Belt is it's been tilted on its side, and we see from the mid-crust up to the Earth's surface and the volcanic equivalents exposed in profile on the map. So these two views are really complementary plan view, profile view. The cottonwood stock, this one, lithologically very closely resembles the uh, <laughs> uh, And so we think We've got a good combination of the two to understand these systems in the way. <laughs> 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 